So on Facebook today, somebody asked how to pull off the vertigo or dolly zoom effect in post-production. And if you're not familiar with what it is, it's a very, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's popular, it's a very well-known technique that can add quite a dramatic flair to the scene. So let's take a look at a couple examples from Vertigo, Jaws, a uh, couple other quick movie clips here, Apollo 13. So you can see it can add a really, really cool dramatic effect to your, your footage. And the ones you've just seen were all done in camera. So if we kind of go back and, and look at these, like the one from Jaws, the camera is physically moving away from the subject while the zoom is being zoomed into the subject. So that keeps the foreground the same size while it appears to stretch out the background. So it takes a lot of work to get that perfect and keep the framing all good. This is a great example of keeping the framing good while the background is doing its little shifting there. Now the Mavic 2 zoom can do this in camera because it is a zoom lens. So you either pull back away from the scene while it's zooming forward, or you pull into the scene while it's zooming out. And it can accomplish the same thing. But let's say we're not that good and we need to do it all in post-production. Well, first, you have to have footage of either a pullback or a push-in. So I have this little piece of footage here. I'm standing on this cliff and you can see it's just a pullback shot. Nothing too spectacular, just a quick little pullback shot from a drone. And in order to create this dolly zoom, while the drone is pulling back, the zoom needs to be pulling in. So I'm gonna go over to my inspector and I'm gonna set waypoints or keyframes on my zoom and my position, because I do know my position changes on here. So I'm a little off to the side there. So I'm gonna position in the middle and I'm gonna really crank this zoom up um, more than I ever should because even though I shot in 4K and I'm editing in a 1080 timeline, I really can't get away with more than a 200% zoom in post, otherwise I'm gonna lose image quality. You can see it's getting all fuzzy here. That's because I'm at almost seven times instead of two times. But this is just to show you the effect. So over here, I have my starting position as the one, my positions at zero when I get to the end of the clip, my, I'm zoomed in 700% and I've repositioned to try and stay in frame. Now I didn't do it exact, you can see how big I am there and I'm a little smaller there, but that's okay. Let's see how this works. Not too bad, let's go ahead and render this out and we can see what this looks like call this dolly zoom test, add that to my render queue, start my render, and then we'll be able to see this in as good as quality as we can get in full screen. Let me minimize this, so I'll get rid of those clips there, and I'll open up my dolly zoom test. Go full screen on here, and move this out of the way, and here we go. So you can see it can create a pretty, pretty wild effect by combining that pull in or pull back along with the zoom effect. So don't overuse this because it, it, it'll look overused basically. Uh, it's not something you want to do, you know, multiple times in one movie or uh, in every little clip to try and make it, you know, look cool it will add a very cool dramatic effect in certain types of scenes, but don't overuse it.
but it's a cool effect and I hope this helped understand how to do it in DaVinci Resolve in post-production. Of course, the these, these same technique will work in Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro or most any video editing software because all you're doing is doing a zoom effect on the footage. So play around with it. Let's see what you have. Post some video comments so I can see something that you've pulled off with it and we can see how, you know, as a community, we're all pulling off the same type of effect. So check it out. Uh, I think you might enjoy it. As always, please subscribe. You know, it means a lot to me to, to grow this channel and help more and more people learn about DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. Check out Fusion Fridays where we're going to do Fusion tutorials on Fridays. We're going to try and do the video ones on Monday, the DaVinci Resolve ones on Monday. Click on the bell icon. If you don't do that, you will, you know, you may not get notified when a new video comes out. So click on that bell icon, share this with people that you think would be interested in filmmaking techniques with DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys all next time. Bye-bye.